Hey everyone, today we will be replacing the bad glass on this iPhone 10. We will be using a special glass that has a bigger camera hole, which will make the job somewhat easier. Like on any iPhone, first we are going to remove the two panel of screws on the bottom. Next I'm going to be using this dual suction cup opening tool. It makes opening any iPhone much easier. Now with the pry tool, separate the screen from the frame. You may need to apply some heat if you're having a hard time separating the screen. Now we're going to carefully push the screen down and up, making sure the ribbon cables don't get torn. I'm using this tool to hold my screen up, but you can carefully lay the screen down if you don't have one. Now that you have the phone opened, go ahead and remove the five screws holding the cover plate for all the connectors. It is very important to remember where each of the screws go. It helps to place the screws in the same order as you remove them. You always want to start by unplugging the battery. This will prevent a short from occurring in the circuit when working on the phone. Now with the pry tool, carefully pry the three connectors to the screen. If all done, I'll put the screen to the side and we can get started on the cracked glass. I like to use this old screen protector as a way to protect the internals while working on the back glass. As you can see, it just sticks on the frame and the battery. Before starting this repair, you will need some safety glasses to protect your eyes from glass as well as some re heat resistant gloves because you will be working with a lot of heat. I'm wearing mine underneath my rubber gloves. I'm using a heat gun with a temperature set at 200 degrees Celsius. You want to have a small tip on the heat gun. This helps concentrate the heat in one place. You want to constantly move the heat gun around. As long as the heat gun is moving, you should not have to worry about applying too much heat. Depending on how your glass is cracked, you'll want to start with the piece that is the smallest and slowly move piece by piece. I'm going to start at the bottom, so I'll be focusing the heat primarily at the bottom trying to get the glue to soften. Don't worry about heating up the whole glass, just focus on the area you're working on. As you can see, even with the video sped up, the heating takes time. It's important to get the glass hot enough before we insert the razor blade. Okay, let's go ahead and insert the blade. Push the blade straight down between the plastic bezel and the glass. Once you insert the blade, slide it under the glass. If it doesn't work for you, try applying more heat in that area and start over. Once you are in, just apply more heat around the blade. Then keep sliding the blade little by little. You shouldn't force the blade. If the blade is not moving, then you may need to apply more heat. I will be using a knife as my secondary tool to cut through the glue. Another razor blade would work just fine as well. As I said before, I'm going to focus on this smaller piece of glass, working my way down the edge. Your phone will have a different crack than mine, but the principle is the same. Now I'm going to use the knife as leverage, lifting the glass ever so slightly as I continue to heat it. As you continue to heat around that chunk of glass, the glue will slowly melt and you will be able to lift it up. Now we move on to the next piece of glass. Again, keep heating until you are able to insert the blade and repeat the process. Since I have one solid piece of glass, I'm going to continue working around the edge until it cracks. Be careful not to damage the wireless charging coil with the blade. You want to stay close to the edge around that area.
As you can see, the glass eventually cracks, allowing me to focus on a smaller piece. Just like before, using a knife or a second blade as leverage, slowly lift the glass while heating. As we get closer to the camera, we want to continue to work around the edges, trying to break off smaller chunks of glass. You can see here I'm trying to break the glass. You don't want to lift too much because it puts pressure on the camera frame. I'm trying to break the glass near the camera so it separates it into two pieces. Now the glass can easily come out from around the camera frame. Once you remove any small pieces of glass left over on the frame, we need to clean the old glue off. This is the glass with the bigger camera hole. Normally at this point you would have to remove the camera frame to be able to insert the glass. With the frame cleaned we can now apply the glue. We will be using the B7000 glue for this repair. You will want to apply a small layer all around the edges of the frame first and then filling the center and around the camera frame. After applying the glue, you will need to leave it for one minute before you can put on the glass. Start by aligning the camera frame with the camera hole, and then work your way to the bottom. Now apply light pressure all around the glass, and then clean off some of the excess glue. You will need to leave the foam for an hour or so, allowing the glue to cure. I will be using these plastic clamps to hold the glass down, but rubber bands will work as well if you don't have any clamps. After an hour or so, you can remove the clamps again and clean off some of the glue that might be on the frame. Remember that at this point you can continue working on the foam, but it takes about 6 hours for the glue to fully cure. And now we are done. For those of you who want to see the phone reassembled, go ahead and stick around. But for the rest of you, thank you for watching. I hope this video was helpful. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more. First we will need to clean the frame from any leftover adhesive as well as dirt before we apply the new adhesive. Now do the same on the screen. Apply the new adhesive starting from the top around the face ID and work your way down to the bottom.
apply a bit of pressure with your pry tool around the frame allowing the new adhesive to stick. Reconnect the three ribbon cables from the screen. And lastly, connect the battery connector. Always check your work before reassembling the phone. Now place the connector cover plate back on and tighten the five screws. Close up the screen starting from the top and work your way to the bottom. Now tighten the two pantalope screws at the bottom. Now we're completely finished. Again, thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button as well as subscribe for more.